can change our status now and say, all right, picking up this ticket, I'm in, and I'm en route. And we're also tracking all of the asset update history or all of the ticket update history here um, against the actions taken by the technician whose uh, responsibility it is to go and construct this particular asset. So we've now jumped ahead quickly from going en route to on site. Uh, again, the history is being updated the entire time. We can navigate over to our ticket, and now we have the ability to either uh, edit the network manager model directly, which is typically not something people let their uh, construction crews do, but uh, also what they're able to do is come in and perform some redline markup notes, as well as capturing information on the ticket form for the job that's been completed. So we can see here we have some construction notes that are existing, and I'm just going to update one rather than place a new one here. And we can add a leader line to it, and it's already referenced to the appropriate underground utility box for a previous demonstration. And we can see here that I can now move the leader line down, and we'll take and, and apply that leader, leader line anchor there and put it on the asset. And we can see here now that... Uh, we can change the colors, we can update the text sizes, but this may be all that I'm required to do as a uh, construction engineer, other than uh, update the ticket information and, and change the statuses of my tickets. But this is a decision that organizations make in their deployment and uh, depending on their, their workflows. So we have here uh, default ticket information that we can type in comments or we can use voice narration on our mobile devices to fill this information in. Populate address, address information, we can also fill in the work details. And we can say that this is field complete. Now in this instance, some users may only be able to take a ticket to a field complete status. We can see the status color update there. So I can come out and look. Uh, I can also see that the asset is still in a planned state. Now, I mentioned the taking it only to the field complete status because it may be someone else's responsibility at the MSO or the uh, telephony organization to close the ticket after some kind of a field inspection. So it may not be up to the construction person to close the ticket. But the interesting part here is that with that closed status, it also updates the status of the feature within the design. So with the closed status there, we say that's now an active asset. And that property model is, a, is something that users will configure. So this could be, you know, as built or in service status, but that's entirely up to the user organization.